The owner of a high-end restaurant was forced to pay up after an investigation found the establishment kept thousands of dollars in earned income away from its employees. Good evening, everyone. The state labor department found more than 100 employees at the Buffalo Chop House lost out on wages and tips. At least one of those employees only learned about this when the 7 Eyewitness News I team contacted him. When Isaac Torres learned he was owed money by the Buffalo Chop House. At first, I was actually really surprised. Torres was a food runner at the upscale restaurant for parts of 2015 and 2016. He was one of 149 people impacted by a state labor department investigation that found the Buffalo Chop House was illegally taking thousands of dollars in employees' wages and tips. But due to clerical issues, he was never notified, never paid back, until 7 Eyewitness News contacted him. I was actually surprised that I'm actually getting help and someone reached out because I would have never even known any of this would happen. The state's investigation started with a complaint from a former Chop House server. 40 years in the industry, I, I never saw that anywhere else, mm -hmm. anywhere else. Rodney Walker started serving at the Chop House in 2014. At the end of each shift, he would go through his server reports, receipts that break down his total earnings for the night. He says he noticed a pattern with the line, tips due. The restaurant was taking 5% of the tips he made from customers who paid by credit card. Due to my experience in the industry and in restaurant management, I knew that that was inappropriate. Inappropriate and illegal. New York state law says an employer is only allowed to make their servers pay the credit card company's initial swipe charge or transaction fees that process the tip. Between 2014 and 2016, the fees averaged 2.8 percent. But look at this server report from February 2016. Walker's tips were $296. The chop house took 5 percent of that, leaving Walker with $281. And I brought it up to the in-house management, asked them, and they said that's just the way it is. With no action from management or the restaurant's owner, Mark Croce, Walker went to the state labor department. His complaint triggered a two-year investigation. The department found that between 2014 and 2016, the Chop House pocketed more than $30,000 in tips, rightfully owed to employees. And that's not the only shady bookkeeping investigators found. The Chop House employees are not being paid for all hours worked. Senior investigator James Donahue wrote in a letter to a Chop House attorney in November 2017. That document obtained by seven eyewitnesses news through freedom of information law. The department went through employees' time cards from 2014 through 2016. Of the 158 checks issued over three random weeks, 155 checks had the hours rounded down, Donahue wrote. When you're doing the amount of business that he's doing in the chop house, what basis do you have to take the money from the staff that is working there? That's unconscionable to me. What's more, the investigation found that some employees did not have their hourly rate raised when the minimum wage went up across the state. All of this a labor law violation. And in August 2018, Chop House owner Mark Croce paid $50,397 to the state labor department. Hi, Mr. Croce. When the 7 Eyewitness News I team called Croce to get his side of the story, the influential business owner claimed to not know specifics of the investigation and rushed us off the phone. Are you satisfied by the result of the investigation? Yes, yes. Walker received the money he deserved, but of 149 employees impacted, with payouts ranging from $10 to $3,300, it's unclear how many people are like Torres, who are only just learning of this investigation. We are happy to share with you that Isaac Torres received his check from the State Labor Department today, and we are in the process of helping two other employees get their money too.